opposition couldn't, couldn't manage a piggy bank, let alone anything else. And I have to say, I think the New Zealand public have spoken loud and clear about the fact that they, they couldn't wish for anything better other than John Key and Bill English to have dug them out of the hole that, they were, that this country was rapidly going in because of the total ineffectual leadership and management and complete over, overspend of every single hard-earned taxpayer dollar by that Labor government. I mean, John Key has heralded a sea change. It's a new era which is positive, pragmatic, financially astute and dedicated to getting New Zealand back on its feet. And we all care far too much to have allowed the continuing suffering at the hand of the opposition. And we are determined to lift our productivity and economic growth as we continue to fulfil all the pledges we have made to New Zealanders. And our economic policies are aimed at shifting the economy more towards exports and productive investment and away from consumption and borrowing. And that's what will make the difference. And that's more exports and productive investment and less consumption and borrowing. And that's what will also provide the jobs that will keep our people in employed. And I just want to go over a few of the things that we've actually achieved in the short time that we've actually been in office. And it far outstrips that anything that Labor did during the whole of its nine years. It's very unfortunate nine years with its just profligate waste. So what have we achieved? We've clamped down on gangs and pee. We've taken action on violent crime, including tougher sentences for crimes against children, giving police the power to DNA test offenders arrested for imprisonable offences, and putting in place stronger bail laws. We've boosted police funding and powers, including 200 million for 600 extra police. We've passed anti-boy racing laws, which include the ability to crush the cars of repeat street racing offenders. We've approved the rollout of 720 tasers to frontline police, which will get underway this year, and, and that's been long overdue. We've passed law, and of course, if you do recall, you must recall, of course, that wasn't it the uh, previous government that passed the buck about making a decision on tasers? You know, they couldn't make simple decisions to make a bi big difference to saving uh, and giving some protection to the lives of our frontline police. I mean, that, that was, they just couldn't do it. And this is a government that has no problem making good, solid decisions and protecting and supporting our frontline police and getting the job done. And the police know that. They know that we've got their back. So we passed laws that put victims first with on-the-spot protection orders and a victim's levy and a fresh start program for young offenders with initiatives and programs to steer young people away from a life of crime. And this is something that Paula Bennett, an excellent minister, um, is dedicated to and which includes 72.4 million over four years for new youth justice initiatives. And our focus this year on justice and youth crime is to reform the criminal justice system, improving legal aid, court process and, and victim treatment, pass the sentencing and reform bill with a three strikes policy for the worst violent criminals. It'll be interesting to see if uh, Labor once again passes the buck on that one. And this is designed to provide appropriate consequences for offenders and ultimately help New Zealanders feel safer in their homes, their streets and in their neighbourhoods. And also, we're going to do some reformation around liquor licensing laws, again, something that was just left languishing by the previous government, with the purpose of reducing the crime and harm caused by binge drinking through reducing the number of liquor outlets in our communities. We're also going to pass the Fresh Start Bill with new co youth court orders and youth programmes to ensure fewer young people embark on a life of crime. And this will be supported by a range of programs and interventions. We're also going to continue to support the police to develop new proactive crime prevention strategies, expanding and intensifying the results demonstrated by new approaches in counties Manukau, a rollout a new public-private partnership model with our prisons to bring innovation and fresh ideas to our prison system. But of course, the uh, opposition 
doesn't, doesn't support that idea. They don't have any fresh ideas, so how could they support the fresh ideas of anybody else? They don't have any innovation, so of course they don't support innovation in any other, by anybody else either. Uh, we're also going to boost capacity with container cells and double bank bunking, uh, and I think that's another great initiative because so much wasn't done by the previous government, uh, and in actual fact, they made things worse. We all know that because of what they did around bail laws um, and um, just getting people out of prisons in actual fact and putting them the community in harm's way by putting them out there. You know, one of the things that I'm, that's very dear to my heart is, of course, tourism, and I'm delighted that um, it's one of the um, focuses by the current government because it's, of course, one of New Zealand's key export industries. And what is more, a strong tourism brand enhances New Zealand's profile and benefits other exporters and not just the tourist, tourist industry. And so last year, the government boosted funding for marketing New Zealand as a tourist destination by $20 million, with a number of new campaigns being rolled out this year in key markets such as Australia, the United States and China. And of course, we had up to a million uh, Australian visitors uh, the previous year, which was absolutely fantastic as they looked to travelling closer to home. And we've also got the wonderful, successful 2011 Rugby World Cup tournament coming through, which is a priority for this government. And ministers have ambitious programmes, not only to ensure that the tournament itself is a success, but to maximise the wider, wider benefits to New Zealand in terms of jobs and growth. And that's where the Rugby World Cup website is such a great initiative and people can go onto that website and log their services and accommodation uh, and whatever they might want to offer to overseas visitors. And it's really important that people take up that opportunity. And I just might digress a moment to, to also mention another tourism in initiative, it's one of the many or some of the many that's actually happening around this country where communities get together and through just all of their hard work and volunteer efforts, they create things like the Pongmata Beach Hop and you've got over 2,000 pre-1970s vehicles uh, and thousands, you've got get up to 30,000 people going to Pongmata for about a four or five day period to look at all these magnificent cars and I defy anyone to not be impressed by that incredible event. And of course in April there's the Festival of Speed in, in, uh, in Wirianga and where you have a boat uh, racing against a car and a, and a helicopter. Now I mean what could be much more, what could be better fun than that? I mean it's fantastic. And you have drag racing with a difference, they don't use cars. Um, I it's, it's all of these sorts of festivals that we can, that the communities actually make a huge effort uh, to get rolling, to entice visitors, to give them an experience they will never forget and they'll come back for. Those are the sorts of initiatives that actually support our tourism industries, they support tourism New Zealand, and they get people into our communities, they get visitors into New Zealand, and that's how we drive some of our um, getting back some of our um, productivity through our tourism export industry. So I'm, I'm delighted at the, the vision and the focus of this current government, and this is what's going to take New Zealand forward. It certainly won't be through anything that the opposition's got to offer.